my face is breaking out. I have very low energy. My kneecaps feel like they're going out of place. My elbows keep cracking. My fingers keep getting stiff. I think I have arthritis. I came to the realization that I'm getting older, y'all. So I decided to put on this t-shirt, right? Remember this, these type of t-shirts that said, hello, I'm sexy and I know it, like what the hell? <laughs> Since I feel like I'm getting older, I feel like I have to put something on to make me feel young again. And this is the shirt that I wore on my last performance ever. And that was when I opened up for Twista. Some of you youngins might not know who Twista is, but you know, he was a big time Chicago rapper and He's still rapping today, so he's still out there in the streets. <laughs> this was still in my closet, and I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and wear this today. I have not posted anything in like three or four days now, so it's, I think it's time, y'all. I think it's time. We're gonna go ahead and react to Everyday Days. This video is called, We Told Juju to Take a Hike. So let's go ahead and react. We going hiking, Mrs. Ziggy Boy! Zuli looks like an absolute hiker. Oh, I never hiked before, am I? We're dressed terribly for the occasion. We're getting outside. What the? Who it belongs to because it was right there in the street so that's juju that is snow the product's girlfriend snow the product is a rapper well known and this is her channel so you're trying to keep it yeah a white it was so chicken? fat and white it looks like it's getting ready to get that girl back there is snow the product's cousin that just came back from mexico Look. Mole. Mole, 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 mole. mole yeah that's not gonna work babe that was for all of us and bash was supposed to come but he ditched on us she wanted to bring it with a harness. Thank you. Tiny water bottles, did you? Tiny. How oh, so they literally went on a hike. <laughs> Quickly, do we want to get this hike done, y'all? Oh, how long is the trail? Um, it's pretty long. So you're gonna go up this road, and you're gonna think this is the start, and this isn't the start. So you're already going uphill to begin with. <laughs> I'm only doing this because you said that I was gonna be skinny after, and then we was gonna go get some. I did not say you're gonna be skinny after. I mean, if you do this every day, if you do this two or three times a week, you'll be skinny in a month. You're yeah, gonna do this two or three times a week. Look at our freaking instructor. Look at her. <laughs> She's so serious right now. <laughs> All right, I'm already tired. I'll. <laughs> Come on. I'm dead ass. I know. I knew you were gonna be tired just climbing to it. <laughs> By the way, new hoodie. We call this the. Should we call it the Rancho hoodie? Like or what, what should we call this I hoodie like that. so people know what's up? This hoodie. One day when I reach about 50,000 subscribers, I'm planning on doing some form of merch. I have an idea of how I want my logo to be. I still need some work on it, so. I'm just trying to reach to 1,000. Can y'all sub, please? I'm like only 50 off. Can you please sub? Doesn't take much. It's gonna be called whatever we're gonna end up naming the ranch. And if you buy this hoodie, well, I guess how could you buy it if we haven't named it yet? This hoodie is the Rancho hoodie. Cause we're buying a Rancho with all the proceeds from this hoodie. I mean, probably not gonna make enough for the whole Rancho, but you know what I'm saying. We're putting a down payment. And you're gonna be able to name the ranch with us. But they can't oh, that's cool. Don't buy a hoodie. Man, I can't even think, I'm already tired. There's gonna be a lot of <laughs> warning. There's gonna be a lot of heavy breathing on this. Just name it Ranch <laughs> dressing. There's gonna be a lot of heavy breathing in this vlog. <sighs> Yo, she literally puts me through like a million obstacles just to be with her. She's like, if you love me, you gotta show me. <laughs> I be trying to, I got you, baby. We gonna do this, we gonna do this. I'm dying right now. We haven't even started. The trail starts oh. up there. Oh, oh fuck no. You see, this is why we gotta go home. They just walked to the starting of the hike. This girl ain't gonna last. We gotta spend time with our loved ones. <laughs> we can't be here. We gotta never come back. Aww. Aww. So Sulema's been going through it because she was a huge Kobe fan. Even when you first showed up, huh? From Mexico, she was like, she brought up Kobe. That's why when I saw what happened, I was like, sorry. And then we went to Staples Center. I know. That, and I was really happy. That reminds me, I wanna send all my prayers to Kobe Bryant um, and his family and the rest of the people that were in that helicopter ride. Uh, my prayers are with all of you, um, my condolences to the family, and I'm sorry for what happened to you guys. Um, you are now in heaven, I believe, and may you rest in peace. It's unfortunate, it's very sad. For He was so young, and so was everyone else on that ride, especially his daughter and her, and her friend. It's just so sad to see something like that happen. So So tragic, so shocking. It's still a shock to me to this day, like, this is crazy. But my condolences. Let's get back to the video. 
You were taking pictures in front of Staples yeah. Center because, wow. Because, and then, yeah, that's why. She's like, can you take a picture of me in front of Staples Center? I can't believe this is Staples Center. She's like, Kobe. Oh. Yeah, she said she was one step closer to her love. Aw, Zuli. Damn. Wait, guys. Oh. <laughs> 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 Why did you stop? <laughs> That's it? I thought we were just coming to take a picture. No, nope. we're going. We haven't even started. I'm gonna take the Yeah, we're Girl. gonna get so fit, we're gonna be bad bitches. She's pretty and we're gonna <laughs> Imagine every time we look at Zuli or point the camera at her, she's doing that. What would you do if her rally just came out nowhere? Beat it with this camera. Have you ever been a uh, workout instructor? I did want to do that. Now you could do it on everyday days. Be like, all right, guys, our weekly <laughs> workout. I think that's the only way we're gonna get me and Juju to work out is if it's somehow part of everyday days. Ay, Dios mío. Oh God, y'all. I knew it was no. It's nothing could ever be easy with you. You always. You know, <laughs> we're just gonna go for a little hike. Really? Oh, that's not this ain't a bad. Hike. This is literally climbing a mountain. Girl, that's a fucking hill. You can do it. The problem is you're thinking too much. You're think you're overthinking everything. Look at it at a glance and then just walk. Just start walking. If you have to, just look at your feet. Look down while you're walking. As soon as you look back up, you'll be at the top. Yeah. Hikes are like trails that you lead up to the top. No. You just want to go straight to the top. We mountain climbing. If I roll my ass downhill, I'm never doing a challenge again. <laughs> I thought you said you should whatever. Oh shit, my water bottle. At least it wasn't my cell phone. Bae, I thought you said you should whatever. Whatever is whatever. You said you should whatever. You did whatever. No, come on, you should whatever. Show the fans. Juju should whatever's challenge number one. Climb a mountain. Come on, babe, you got this. Like you're trying to climb, babe. <laughs> there you go. There like you you're go. trying to climb. You you got it? I'm on top of the world! Don't it feel good? Don't it feel good? Barely. Yeah, go with it will help. Yeah, let's go that way. Barely? I uh, turn right. <laughs> <laughs> go. go that way. Go! I don't even like elevated. Just imagine all those times that you've talked shit. Fuck that water bottle. We'll pick it up on the way back. We'll pick it up on the way back. Go to the right. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Look at Zuli. She's gone. <laughs> Babe, you're officially beating me. Right here? Yeah, just think that. All right, now she's playing around. I know she can go up that hill, no problem. I think she's just doing it for the damn camera and the attention. This is the, this is the rock on your wedding ring you're climbing. Come on, girl. <laughs> I'm 400 pounds. You're not 400 pounds. Stop thinking you can't. You got it. Zuli's out here being a motivational speaker. But the first time you you climb, the reason that it's so hard for you is because it's because you literally keep thinking to yourself, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. But once you do it, the next time you do it, you're not gonna think that you can't do it because you're gonna be like, I already did it. Because you already so did it. Let me just do it. Facts. Okay. Facts. So it gets easier. You know, Snow the Product talks a lot and real fast. But the thing she says makes sense, man. You know what I'm saying? Like she's pretty smart. She's pretty intellectual, and I, I get you, girl. I get you. Dude, Russ, he's so cute. Oh, good boy. Asking you if you want to touch a dog is like serious. When we get to the top, all three of us got a pan Silmar. Pans or moon? Oh. Still stupid <laughs> either way. We're not mooning Silmar. Oh my God, I'm actually kind of happy that I. Right. Because... Right, girl. Right. I probably would have never seen this if I didn't. Exactly. Challenge yourselves. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. If you do, you're gonna see things in a different way. You're just going to. All right, she said double the, what does that say? Uh, I can't even read that, y'all. Y'all should have used white for those, sub, for those subtitles because I cannot read that. I'm doing the most for you. Juju stopped smoking cigarettes yesterday, and now she's hiking. So now we're on a journey. We're on a health kick. Come on, bae, you got it. Come on, bae. We got a surprise for you. We're goats right now. We're the goats. And the greatest of all time. Did, did you miss that? Or did, did you, do you guys say goat in Mexico too? We were talking about how she missed so much. She missed hide your, hide your kids, hide your wife. So funny. We need to show it to you. We need to put you on. Like, there's gonna be a vlog of Americanizing Zuli. 
Oh yeah, you missed 24 hours. You missed 2 a.m. I like that song too. I love 2 a.m. Lizzo and Meg The Stallion are gonna help you be a bad boy and juju. Me, I'm gonna show you vlogs where I look like an idiot. <laughs> you ready for your surprise? Oh, I already know that's a trick. You see, over there? Babe, no! Oh, hell no. <laughs> Oh, are you recruiting her to the Niners? <laughs> oh, trip fall and roll. Zuli, you're hella into sports, huh? What are your teams? I should probably say that, like, I'm a Golden State Warrior fan. I do like him, but I'm not. I've been in love with Kobe since I was nine years old. Oh, that's so, so sad. That means I have always been a Lakers fan. San Francisco 49ers, of course. Not too much into baseball, but it would be of the Giants. Because you're originally from... Hey, 650. I don't like baseball. So if y'all haven't caught on yet, she used to live in the U.S. She went to Mexico for 10 years and she is back. That's why I always wanted Baby Drew to play soccer because I would go to his baseball games and be like, I get to watch my kid play for about five minutes. <laughs> the rest of it is him sitting in the fucking Aww. whatever, waiting to bat. Freaking rude ass plant poked me on my finger. Not that I'm trying to dwell on not that I'm trying to dwell on what I posted this morning, but it's not true. When people come into your life, you know how sometimes friends are like, oh wow, you changed ever since this person or that person. Even with friends, you know, you have friends uh. that change because of other friends. But it's like, isn't that the point of people coming into your life and influencing you? Like Exactly. <laughs> and you have different relationships with different people too. That's just natural. You can relate to different people in different ways. So just because a person can relate to that person does not mean that they that they still can't relate to you. They can, but it just in a different way. Zuli came through with all her working out and all this and she didn't even like pressure us. She just kind of works out every morning and slowly started to motivate us. And That's now you're stopping smoking cigarettes and we're fucking hiking. And we're gonna hopefully And y'all taught y'all taught her how to twerk. It's a give and take. Not that. Isn't that the whole point? Well, you're supposed to be evolving all the time. Yeah, it's not like change is easy. It's not like people are sitting there like, hell yeah, I'm gonna change. Like, change is clearly hard. For example, this height, like, people are gonna see the post when we're up there and be like, oh wow, you're all the way. By the end, by the end of the day, you still want to be around people that will make you better, always. So change is good. It's not a bad thing unless you're hanging out with the wrong people, and they're influencing you in a negative way. You don't want that. Be up there, but they didn't see all this. Here they come! God, look at that view! Yo, but the view up here is... And we're not even... Oh, look at that view. That is so pretty. That is nice. And why are, they, why are they the only ones there? Are they... in territory that they're not supposed to be? <laughs> it looks like they're trespassing. In there yet. Look, look at that. Really very, very pretty. Look at that. Well, I love nature. I love seeing scenic views. Oh, you fucking bitches! <laughs> oh my god! So nice. Come on, Juju. Oh my god, come on, fuck no. Yeah, of course there's more. There's always more. Babe, you didn't even think you could get up here. Look at that. You got it. Now How look. Now look around, girl. Look around you. I lost my water bottle. Let's go be alright. You lost your water bottle, but you didn't lose your dignity. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead ass about a rope. You did this on purpose. What? You think I'm gonna roll over and die and then you don't have to marry me no more. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, she said she found evidence that I'm trying to get rid of her. I like the bathroom. I poop flowers. I think in the bathroom. I get my best ideas in the bathroom. I used to write all my songs in the bathroom. The bathroom is just a place where you're definitely alone and you get to just be with your thoughts. Yep. For me, it's the shower. When I'm in that shower, I'm in there for a while. Nice warm shower just hitting my back, my head, and I just start to think and relax. 
and just ideas start coming. Fingers numb, messed up, I'm just trying to see stuff. I'm sure I'll edit a lot of things out. I think a lot when I'm working out. That's what I'm like, what the f is that? But about friendships and family and everything. Like I said, sometimes I'm just talking about my personal journey. I'm not trying to start nothing or be nothing. I ain't trying to start nothing or be nothing. Just personal journey, I think. I've told people before, when my movie comes out, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting because there's a lot of it that nobody knows that went on. And it's not up it's just actually kind of sad sometimes when i think about my journey i do cry about it not in a bad way not in a like not in a feel sorry for me way kind of i mean i guess kind of like damn like i feel bad for that girl I've been scared of being too happy because i always felt like the day that i'm too happy i'm just gonna die for me that is girl yes okay i'm not the only one for me when when something goes right in my life I don't really get to enjoy the moment. I start thinking, okay, because I had this perfect thing happen, now 10 negative things are about to happen soon. So I'm like, I'm worried and I start to prepare my mind, like I gotta be strong for whatever's about to come. And I don't get to enjoy the positive thing that happened to me. That's what anxiety is and I, I don't want to say suffer from it. I deal with it and it's difficult. I need to learn how to let go and just enjoy the moment as it's happening now because thinking ahead of time is not going to do anything for me. It's not going to change anything and thinking of the past isn't going to change anything neither. It's about the present and how you do things now. Because maybe, I guess deep down, sometimes you feel like you don't deserve that. And I guess I never realized that that's really just low self-esteem. I probably got triggered from trauma and from family and from my For sure. upbringing. But now that I'm growing up, I realize I do deserve to be happy. Suck. And even though things are hard to do, once you do them, you're really fucking happy you did. What's that? Look at that. And we lit! How you feel? Feels good, don't it, girl? Oh my god, that wind noise. Oh, you guys fucked up by not having that mic. Oh, this is gonna kill me. Yeah, we are. We're doing it tomorrow. Three times a week. We just Three times a week. I don't know about all that. the coach. nice i like that you want to support yes these hoodies are good see i don't want mine to be in detail like that it's very nice by the way it should be limited like what do you call it a limited um edition i want something simple a simple logo that once you look at it you know what it is you know where it came from to be pricey but we distressed them ourselves made them ourselves and What's that? they're going to support this ranch life that you're going to get a ton of vlogs from what are we buying five chickens right Bringing my dogs from Mexico. Bringing Julie's dogs from Mexico. Five fucking chickens to start. A couple roosters. I want a goat. A pig. A pig. Like we're straight up getting ranch and farm life. That's the Mexican. You guys are gonna see the whole thing happen because y'all are supporting. Get the fucking rancho hoodie. That's the Mexican in them. She's actually her family's from Zacatecas, which is where my parents are from. They, they grew up in the ranch, so they were like the poor of the poor. I'm talking about my parents, so. My parents did so well for themselves and they made a better life for us. So I am so thankful, girl. So thankful. Oh, wait, 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 I don't know. Yeah. The thing, by the way, if anybody knew about it, we've just been waiting for the right thing to happen, which we've been waiting a long time because it's a long process, but when it happens, I swear to God. All right, my question is this. <laughs> Snow. We've been looking at that sweater for like, I feel like eternity now. We have not seen your face throughout this whole vlog. She must not have her makeup done. Her hair must be all fucked up. I don't know. We have not seen her face. I mean, she's got some pimples like me. Like maybe she's breaking out like I am. I don't know. But girl, show your face. You're going to be. Or show sure. somebody else. <laughs> but for now, yeah. Rancho life. We need the rancho. All right, girl. We get it. We get it. Two, two, three, 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 three. 
Hey, that was good. <laughs> that was snow. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.